So I remember a time in Destiny 1's life where when you would walk down the tower, old tower, you would see, like, I was a hunter. So for me, I would see through my hunter eyes. Titans, warlocks, hunters, other stuff. And one of the coolest things was seeing, like, some, like, usually it was a Titan with new monarchy armor. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to throw shade, but that shit looked fire. Always, always looked fire. But on the flip side, we had, like, a hunter with dead orbit. And she looked fire. Looked fire. It, it was wild. And then you had warlocks who looked weird with their fucking uh, future war called shit because they were, they were goofy looking. But, I mean, it's what we had at the time. It was cool. It was really cool. And in Destiny 2's lifespan through Destiny 2 to Crystal Osiris and Warmind, we had faction rallies. And I think, honestly, in my opinion, faction rallies were good. I think they were good for what they did. I think making it into an, uh, an event was a smart idea. It was kind of flawed in my in my eyes because we couldn't farm for our, any of the armor anymore, or at least not efficiently. Not like in De in Destiny One where I could literally just become like, oh yeah, you're, you're part of that orbit now. Go do stuff and you'll get stuff for for us. And it's like cool. In Destiny Two is more like, what was it? A, a week? Yeah, it was a week. Uh, during whatever month it was I think it was like right after Iron Banner would come up and I would try to get all the armor I remember one time there was a there's a glitch not glitch or a cheese where you could keep doing which I forget what they're called put it on the screen but you could keep doing um, the things in the planets over and over just keep resetting it and you can just get tokens that way because farming tokens was really annoying back in the day which is why i didn't get most of the ornaments from those seasons but it was really cool i really liked factions trials was dope as well i loved trials trials was honestly trials was really fun i played a bit of trials in destiny one i'm not a i wasn't the biggest pvp -er back in the day i was more uh, PvE with some PvE sprinkled in there But now I'm more half and half thankfully I play a lot of more PvP now, but I I Really liked uh, trials. It was fun. I think the old trials was better I do acknowledge that the old trials was better, but I Liked it for what it was and I liked the armor. I liked the weapons and it was cool and all that Unfortunately from what we've been hearing Shadowkeep won't bring any of these which I think is a damn shame. Uh, I'm not gonna to talk about too much on trials because like I said, I didn't play much. I only played like a few matches a week and I never went to the lighthouse. I know, I know, I know. I never went to the lighthouse with such a casual, I know, I know. But I played the shit out of the factions, especially in Destiny 1 when I got pretty much every armor when it came out and all that stuff. So I will be talking, this will most, Mostly be about factions with the sprinkles of trials, maybe. But I think factions did really well for what they did, for what they represented. I feel like it was such a great idea. It was such a good idea. Because for me, I really never really liked the Vanguard. They were more like two goody two shoes. And I was just, like, the way Zavala views the world is very like black and white. And for me, from my life experiences, it's more like just shades of just fucking gray everywhere like that's that's just the way i see it so i never really liked uh zavala that much in destiny one because he was just too much in the straight and narrow that's why i liked Cade because uh Cade was more of a he's a hunter most hunters don't see the world black and white that's how i viewed it at least so when when the edgelord faction came out obviously dan orbit I really like them, obviously because of the black and white. I'm not even going to try to lie to you. I'm not going to make some deep fucking thought about it. It was black and white. It looked cool. Don't, even, don't, at, don't at me. It looked cool. So, it was really cool when uh, Dead Orbit came out. And we were, like, getting all armors. It was really cool. Dude, like, I remember when we actually got an exotic class item. Oh, my God. Let me talk about that. That was so cool. I still have it on my hunter to this day. Like, I'm going to have uh, Destiny 1 footage and maybe, like, 
probably PvP, if not PvE, maybe both, I don't know, whatever. But I remember when I first got that cloak and I was hype, bro. I was so hype. I was like, yo, it was the like, I remember it was such a big deal because like the whole community was like the first time we can actually put on two exotic pieces of gear. And we were just like, like, it was so cool. It was so cool. And like now we don't have that. Like it pisses me off too because like when I started playing Destiny 2 on PC, it was at Warmind. And it was the last, like, it was the last weeks of Warmind before Forsaken came out. And I was, like, I'm not even kidding when I say I grinded so much those last, like, month or weeks or whatever that I ended up getting almost all the armor. Actually, no, yeah, almost all the armor from Eververse. I got a fuck ton of armor for my hunter a fuck ton like not even kidding a ton and like it was i had so much to farm and thankfully i've played destiny 2 and everything else and warmind before i switched to pc so immediately i was like yo i, I know i know what i'm gonna do i know where where my grind's at like the only biggest regrets that i have is that i didn't get destiny 2 on pc sooner because if i had I would have gotten the ornaments from PvP, from Vanguard, from the. I would have tried. I would have tried to get the Trials armor, all of it, because I do have some of it in my P PS4 account. I would have tried to get all the ornaments from Trials, all the ornaments from the factions. Like, I would have really honed my far my uh, my grind. But unfortunately, I didn't do it that way. I. I did get the Iron Banner on, which, ha oh man, dude, I'm so happy I did. I love that armor set, but it is it is what it is. I, I'm i a little mad that I didn't get the stuff that I wanted. Hopefully in Shadowkeep, they bring back some of this old stuff, but yeah, I this is, this is not a video about me complaining. It's just like more of a remembrance, like I just really want them to bring back factions and trials because factions for me i love it i love when i see a hunter or like actually to be real i love it when i see it like when i'm like walking down with my dead orbit armor and i see another hunter and he's rocking a uh, new monarchy and i'm just kind of like fucking traitor or like like you know like not like really like oh what a fucking like no not not the crazy but just kind of like joking around because like that's what builds stories like I could tell you about the times when I met other people in PvP or PvE while I was doing stuff, and they're like, "So you're dead orbit, huh? Okay." And then like they're like, well, "I was like, well, what? what's wrong with dead orbit?" They're like, "I'm more of a new monarchy," and it's just like, "Oh, oh, so you think you fa you fancy? You think you fancy?" And it's just like the stories I could tell of that. Like it's just that's what I miss, and it's it would have been cool to have it. Like unfortunately now. We can't even use the armor in Shadow Keep, which is okay, that's cool, I guess. Not really, but okay. So the next best thing is to wear the emblem and a shader. And people are gonna be like, yo, that's really cool. I didn't know they had a black and white armor sh or armor shader. And it's like, they don't, not anymore. Like you, you had to be there. The FOMO, you fe you missed out. Fear of missing out. You missed out, homie. And it's like, that's what I don't like. It 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 becomes a gate for new newer players because i can tell you right now it don't it doesn't feel good to miss out it really doesn't and like especially when like i'll give you a good example my best friend one of my best friends at in la he became my roommate and he was a big wow player he was like tony you need to play wow and i'm like why and he goes oh I, you'd love it and i'm like why he goes and then he started explaining to me and i'm like yo that sounds cool yeah i'd like that so usually in games I either play healer or like maybe DPS, but like in WoW I played pure DPS. I played a warrior, played what was it? Fury Warrior. That was my shit. Loved it. And then I tried uh, DK. Love DK. Death Knights are dope as shit. I just uh, wish I played more on it. And then I played a paladin, and I was like, "Yo, cool. These fuckers are broken. Don't even don't don't even try to lie to me about it. They're fucking dumb." And the one thing that 
that always stopped me from like really giving it my all was the fact that like I couldn't get a bunch of shit from years ago. Like I couldn't get a, a proto Drake that was black because I wasn't there. And I was just like, that's cool. Like, okay. And my friend's like, yeah, you, you're not going to be able to get a lot of shit from like not even like last year or two years ago. And I'm just like, really? Why? And like, you have to be there. And like, really? And like, yeah. Like, okay. So that fear of missing out has literally stopped me from giving more for water warfare. Has literally stopped me from giving WoW my full attention. And I would have. Thankfully I didn't because uh, BFA is shit. But that's, this is not a WoW video. So, <clears throat> in conclusion, Bung Bungo, please bring factions back bring trials back specifically trials actually because i feel like this isn't it, this isn't something for me it's more for the community because dude when i say trials was big in destiny one i can't even fathom how big it was because destiny two destiny one was really stagnant for a while for a long time very long time not a lot not there was not many times that it was like exciting and like new and fresh it was always like fresh for like a month and then stagnant that's just how it was until taking care but yeah i i just don't like that they took those two things out from disney vanilla so i think hopefully they'll put him they'll put them back hopefully we'll be able to get some of the armor from past seasons because I think it's bullshit that we haven't had a way to get those armors back. I think it's bullshit that we can't get any ornaments back. Like, dude, just like for the pe for the players who are like, no, you, no, that totally ruins like the whole thing. Like, you had to be there. That's cool. Just give me the the ornament and then just put the the symbol of when it was given. Just make it to that season, and I'll be like, cool, done. You got your stupid trophy of oh yeah look i got mine when it was that season that's cool i really don't give a shit because i'm just doing it for the armor because it looks cool not because you have some sort of fucking complex where it's like i have to be better than people in a fucking fictional game so yeah yeah good for you buddy good for you so those are my thoughts on it let me know what you guys think in the honestly it's probably gonna be like yeah i missed trials so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below am i right am i thinking am i is it too much to ask? I think it's not too much to ask, especially since it was in the game initially. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on my social media outlets. Link, links are in the description below, and I will see you guys later.